Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I'll show you how to log in to Blackboard and how to teach the online class. It's going to be the first thing you will do is that you will go to the browser, whichever browser you are using, preferably Google Chrome or Firefox. And then you will write this link LMS dot dot edu dot sa okay so on this page you have uh, this option over here you have to log in using the credentials of uqu so you will just choose from here uqu jwt and it will take you to your i mean this page so you can enter your username and the password and the UQU username and password and then you just click enter or the whole okay so let me just resize it so that it's visible all right so once we are here this is the dashboard this is the place where everything that relates to me is available so for now I can just uh, directly go to my courses the ones I am taking and I have to go to the one that I'm teaching right now or you can just click on the top right side where you will see your name and the first thing normally is there the course that you are taking i'm taking this one this is a medicine group i'll click this now i am on the course page so from right to left it has a lot of options like for instance if you like to change the color scheme you start from here click and choose anything to your liking okay so let me stick with something now, uh, something like this. Okay. So there are a lot of things here that can be done. Like uh, this is the whole of it. Like you can plan everything. You can put things here. So that part I will try to cover in another video. So in this, I will just try to take you directly to where is the online class and how do we teach so we click on blackboard collaborate on the left side and when we are on this page it will show show us something like this generally the classroom that we are having is called course room here it's open it's available so you click this and after that you can just click join course room it will open another tab and it will show you a page like this so this is your virtual classroom okay so there will be a few pop-ups that you might see on when you do this on the first time it will ask you okay you would like to give access to the microphone you have to say yes to that it will ask you it wants access to your camera you have to say yes to that also i have done those things so they are not showing here so from left to right and this you have the first option that is recording very important every session or every class you take click recording uh, what is it that it happens so when, whatever you do in your classroom once the classroom is finished the recording is processed and is available to the students when they open their dashboard so but that's not available right away it takes about an hour or so for the recording to process and be available in their uh, e-learning dashboard so they can go back to any class if they want to see what happened so the, everything that happens in this space will be recorded as you can see on top left this is being recorded right now these are some of the options this is my status and setting you can just uh, this is your role you are a moderator and these are some of the feelings if you uh, you can just use this emoticons or something like that just to express yourself if someone is saying something and you agree or disagree this is the microphone so you can uh, click this or if you have to talk to someone during the class or you have to mute it for some time this is for muting or unmuting the microphone this is for the video to close it and to open it and this is for raise hands if you have to say something now that that's that doesn't apply to you as a teacher on the bottom right side you have this is the most important part actually uh, you click here so you have one two three four things one is the chat so everyone who would like to say something if you have to say something to everyone you will just click chat this is your way of talking to them and this is going to show you who are the participants who are who are the people who are sitting here 
and this is called the share content that is uh, a very obvious question that how will we teach what will we show to our students so that is that part gets answered here you have share i'm just going over this very quickly share blank whiteboard so this is the whiteboard like the one you have in the room this is your marker that is called a pencil here all right and this is going to be the color you would like to choose to write okay with the help of the mouse you have to keep the left button pressed and you can write or draw anything literally anything okay something like this i'm doing this it it's not that easy but it really happens so you have an eraser it will erase everything you would like to type just click the t button and you can type like this so whatever i'm doing here is displayed to the students as it is if i like to show them this in a bigger size i can just click these controls over here and it will allow me to zoom the whiteboard to my liking unzoom it stretch it to full screen some of the things i can play around so this is the whiteboard and you can stop sharing from here uh, I'm coming to the second one later. The third one is share files. Now, if you have the PDF of your book or the image of the page you are planning to teach, so that should be in the computer before you open this platform, number one. Number two, before the students come in, before the time of the class, you should come to this place. You can click share and then over here, add files. The files you will need during the lesson all should be added here before the students come because look i have added it it's uploading now it's converting now it can take a while maybe it can take a couple of minutes times it so that's done so you just click this the one you want to show them so you can click base uh, you can attach basically image powerpoint and pdf okay choose the one you would like to show them now this is a document i have already converted so i'll just click and click share now now i have the pages of the document i'll click any one of the pages and it will appear on the left when it appears on the left that means students can see it again when you have this window open if you would like to show them this in a bigger size click on this control over here show view controls click the plus button and keep pressing that and i think that's the maximum it comes now on the screen you will see your hand like this i mean the cursor so you can actually hold the page by keeping the left button left uh, click and moving it right left again you can use this pencil to draw and to make a point and that is the that's actually a great help if you are explaining something to someone so that's going to help you a lot so this is one thing so once you are done showing them this document you would like to show them something else you can open it like that so this is this is one thing there are many things we can do with this also when you ask them some question you can ask them to respond inside the chat so whoever answers the muscle and you ask something uh, an answer of something and someone gives the reply and you would like to acknowledge the reply you can do that by saying things about the person's answer okay and the lastly this is share application or screen now this is in those scenarios where you would like the students to see your screen like what is going on there or if there is a if there is a video you want to show them so in that scenario you have to open the video in a separate application separate program and when that is open uh, let me give you a small example here click share application and it will ask me which application i want to share my entire screen i don't recommend doing that you may have many things personal on the desktop application okay now i want them to have a look at my vlc media player only i click share now whatever happens here will be shared with them i have shared a video with them open up inside adobe see now this is the place where the students are seeing it whereas i'm playing it on a side 
Now you can see I have custom here, so, which is my key 720. If you have to share something like a screen, uh, a part of your screen where there is something else is open, you can do that also. Uh, there's, a, there's a question that uh, some of my friends have asked me. I would like to discuss that. That, for instance, you have uh, you have listening. How will the students actually listen to something? Now, that's a very interesting question. So, what happens is, what happens is that you open the listening in a media player on a side. All right. This is the first thing I am doing that while I speak. Okay. So you will have the listening open on the side, number one. And once you have to play it, you will actually just play it. And the students will be listening to that through your microphone. Now, if you don't understand how that's going to work, let me try to open a listening for you. And you should be in a quiet place. Now, when I have to say that, all right, students, please listen and complete or listen and check your answers, I will keep quiet myself. I will play the listening on my computer and I definitely should play it on a speaker so that it's loud enough, like this. Joseph's. Anita is 16. Mm -hmm. She fainted and an ambulance brought her in, so we are keeping her in for a 48 hour observation. Right. Now, Anita. So students are listening to this through my microphone. So when I keep quiet, students will listen to this. When I'm finished playing, so the only tip you have to remember is that it has to be loud enough. So the speaker that you have, plug it in with your laptop, play it loud enough so that when you keep quiet, the loud noise of the speaker, the listening, should go through your microphone to the student. Student will be listening to this. There will be no complaints. I have tried this a number of times. It's perfectly fine. All right. So this is a quick overview of uh, how do we do these things. There are a couple of more options like polling. If you have, you want to ask a question, an MCQ, you can design an MCQ, write it here, and students will be able to answer. There is a breakout groups. You can divide students into groups and give them separate tasks. There are so many things you can do with this. This is just a basic for like a uh, like a one oh one of how to get into the classroom and how to teach so i hope this helps you and uh, if there is uh, any other question you can always contact me thank you very much assalamu alaikum